good morning class 10th in our last class i have discussed agriculture the importance and the types of agriculture which is practiced in india that is subsistence farming and commercial farming subsistence farming was discussed and the first type of subsistence farming that was the primitive subsistence farming was also discussed and now today we will discuss the second type of subsistence farming intensive subsistence farming which is the most common type of farming practiced in india let us see once again what actually subsistence farming so subsistence farming or agriculture farming practice that provide enough food for the farmer and his family but not enough for sell is a subsistence farming or we can say subsistence agriculture is type of farming in which crops grown are consumed by the grower and his family subsistence agriculture may be of different types it may be shifting or settled as i told you settled agriculture or it may be primitive or non primitive in character it may be both intensive as well as extensive in nature okay so mainly in india it is of what kind intensive subsistence farming so let us see the features of intensive subsistence farming so in this type of farming the farming is done intensively okay and uh, the farmers they grow crop not for sell but mainly for mainly for Uh, to fulfill the needs of the family okay so in intensive subsistence agriculture the farmer cultivates a small plot of land using simple to tools and more labor practice on a small plot of land next is it is labor intensive agriculture that means it requires uh, lots of laborers okay large number of laborers are required so most of the work generally are done uh, that is manually okay machines are hardly used in this kind of farming in india the fields are separated only by narrow handmade ridges and footpaths by which the farmers move around their fields now next is uh, as i told you the farm implements okay are often very very simple simple tools okay are used in this kind of farming the cultivator concentrate on the cultivation of food crops especially rice and vegetables okay but at the same time they also grow maize wheat pulses oil seeds okay these crops are mainly grown in this kind of farming different irrigation methods are applied okay farmer develop a different technique irrigation techniques okay to irrigate the field now this is generally practice in a densely crowded area all right where the demand is very very high so therefore farmer in this kind of farming use their simple land holdings to produce enough for their local consumption while remaining produce is used for exchange against other goods okay so it results in much more food being produced per acre compared to other subsistence pattern all right now in the most intensive situation farmers may even create terraces along steep hill sides to cultivate rice or paddy okay such fields are found in densely populated areas okay in parts of asia all right also in parts of india they may also intensify by using manures artificial irrigation irrigation as i told you and animal waste as a fertilizer so use of fertilizer and manures are very very high as this kind of uh, farming is generally practiced in a densely crowded area all right climate with large number of days with sunshine and fertile soils permits growing of more than 
one crop annually on the same plot of land. Okay, they grow more than so double cropping or multiple cropping. That is the speciality of intensive subsistence farming. They grow two crop that is double cropping or more than two crop that is multiple cropping. Okay, and th this already I told you it is generally practiced in areas of high population. So these are some features of intensive subsistence farming of India. Okay, so uh, in uh, intensive subsistence farming in India, due to right of inheritance, law of inheritance, the plot size become smaller and smaller. Okay, the farmer distribute their land in their sons and every, after a particular time, particular decade, this plot size became decreased and therefore the farmer continue to take maximum output from this limited land okay and that is why there is a enormous pressure on agricultural land in intensive farming now next farming method which is a which is practice in india is a commercial farming okay it's not a quite common farming practice in india but in few areas like in gujarat punjab and haryana in tamil nadu in parts of west bengal commercial farming is seen. So let us see what are the features of commercial farming. Now in this type of farming, the crops are grown and animals are reared to sell in the market. Generally in India, mainly the crops are grown. Okay, commercially. Farmers get ready cash in this kind of farming. Therefore, getting more profit is the main motive okay the main motive objective of this farming is profit benefit it is done on huge plot of land so the plot size is very very big in commercial farming just vice versa of intensive subsistence farming okay now this contributes to the country's economy with huge volume of yield. This is the speciality of commercial farming in India. It contributes okay, to the country's economy uh, with huge volume of yield. In fact, the crops grown commercially in India are used as an export item across the world. Okay. Now, next feature of this farming is Farmer, uh, in Indian farmer uses a high amount of fertilizers, pesticides and insecticides to enhance and maintain the growth of crops. Okay. So that means the farm operations are highly mechanized. Almost every work. Okay. Most of the work is done by the machines. Okay. As well as manually depending on the crop best suited to the respective weather and soil commercial farming in India varies across different regions that means the degree of commercialization of agriculture in India varies from one region to another region for example in West Bengal Haryana and Punjab the farmers of these states, they grow rice commercially. Okay, commercially. That is, selling is the main purpose. Whereas, rice is a, a subsistence crop in Odisha. Just to fulfill their need. That is the main motive in parts of Odisha. Alright. So, this uh, commercial farming in India varies across different regions. Next feature of this farming is the farm operations as I told you are highly mechanized. Modern tools and techniques and machines are used in the commercial farming. Next feature is that in this kind of farming both the cash crops the crops which provide ready cash to the farmers are cash crops okay, and food crops both are grown in the commercial farming. 
alright and uh, apart from rice we also have some other crops like rubber wheat corn cotton sugarcane banana okay they all are important commercial crops which grows in india so students this is the end of today's class today we discussed the features of uh, intensive subsistence farming and also the features of commercial farming in the next class we will discuss uh, another kind of commercial farming one type of commercial farming that is plantation farming plantation agriculture and also we'll discuss about the cropping pattern in india thank you